chorizo and vegetable frittata. Ever had that before? Me neither, and I'm going to. Jennifer Wilson from Auburn is here to try that, and it sounds fascinating. But where, where did the recipe come from? It was just something that I thought to put together with um, trying to make a vegetarian spin on the chorizo to kind of give it a little bit of a lighter taste and a healthier type thing. So, um, and I love frittata, so I thought, why not just mix the two together? Well, you're on the right show. I mean, you know, slim and better is better for you. So, okay, let's let's get cooking here and see what we do. Well, you got a lot of good ingredients. We have a lot of great stuff here. Yeah. So we have red bell pepper. Okay. Leek, broccolini, uh, cooled brown rice, and soy chorizo, and then some Parmesan what cheese. What was this? Uh, broccolini. Broccolini. Hmm? broccolini. Oh, broccolini. Broccolini. That's half broccoli okay. and half something else. Eeny. Oh. <laughs> you see what you get when you ask questions here? I'll tell you. I, I, because I'd never seen it shaped quite like that before. So where do we start? So we're going to start with a little bit of grapeseed oil. Okay. About a pan there. Fitting that one there. Thank you. Good. And then after that heats up for a second. And it's hot. Yeah, right. Then we're gonna go ahead and toss the broccolini. Okay. I may need that bag. And the pepper. bell pepper. And the leaf. Thank you. Sure. And then get a little bit of salt and pepper there. Ready? Get those softened up a bit. Yeah. Okay, and then in that pan over there, we're going to go ahead and do the soy chorizo. Okay. So, Jennifer, you were telling me before we started that this is a vegetarian chorizo. It is. Yeah. How wonderful is that? So it gives it kind of like a really light, you know, with frittatas already being light as they are, mm -hmm. um, with baked eggs, that it kind of balances that out a little bit there. This is great. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and do this here, too. And so you really just want to kind of sweat these a little bit. Okay, and just soften them soften up. Because they're not going to soften up in the oven, in the eggs. Well, the, when and, they finish baking, too. And, and you need to get out all the liquid, otherwise you wind up with soup instead of frittata. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually kind of what it looks like when we start to put it in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I uh, like to press the garlic through a press because mm -hmm. it gives all the oils and everything right. else in there, too. And, you know, helps with the flavor. So this one is going to go actually Into on top the of the chorizo. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I'll bring it to you. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then uh -huh. I'm just going to go ahead and stick oh, number yeah. two. You smell that? Oh, yum, 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 yum. Into this one. Oh, look at that. More garlic. Thank Everything's you. better with garlic. Yeah. And so while that kind of gets warmed up and does its thing over there, I'm going to go ahead and bake the eggs, or with the eggs here. We're going to throw a little bit of milk. Sure. Thank you. A little bit of salt and pepper in here, too. Thank you, George. Well, I mean, I've been looking at these. Are these old? Yes, very old. They're That's actually old. my cousins. They're beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And then a little bit of Tabasco. Okay. Or you could use whatever type of whatever hot sauce you like. Whatever hot sauce you like. Mm -hmm. Or you can omit it if you don't like hot at all, because the oh, trees have got that. a little kick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we whisk that up. And then we're going to put some Parmesan cheese into the egg. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And get that all going. Now that would be an interesting taste. Egg and, and, and it's actually cheese. pretty good. It gives it like a little salty kick, but not too much. Yeah, exactly. And then, so now we can go ahead and... That's beginning to smell awfully good over there. Put that, there. Do we put that in there? Yeah, absolutely. Doesn't Thank that you. Look good. It's fresh. It looks great. And then we can go ahead and put the chorizo on there as well. Thank you, Carol. Ooh. <laughs> it's hard to believe this is a vegetarian product. Yes, it is. It, it smells really is. like the real deal. Of course, chorizo gets most of its flavor from the seasonings. Yes. So then kind of stir it together, and then I put kind of cold brown rice just to kind of cool it down a little bit. Have you to a vegetarian who accused you of sneaking some meat pasta? Well, I've actually served it to meat eaters who thought it was meat. <laughs> and we didn't and tell them, right? Pass. No. <laughs> no. Good girl. This is why we're in the kitchen alone. Yes. <laughs> yes. So then you kind of let it cool down just for a minute so when you pour the eggs in, they don't scram start to right. scramble a little bit. Right. So while that cools for a second, I'm going to go ahead and spray a glass pie plate. 
with mm. cooking spray. This helps it to not stick and it's easy not to come out. Not sticking is good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so put that there. And then go ahead and pour that. So it does get, oh. look kind of soupy at first. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you're set here. Yeah. Thank you. And then get all that together, pour it into the pie plate. Thank you. Now, I got to admit to you folks, I saw one go in the oven just before we went into this segment. It looked great. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is looking we just were as great. Mm -hmm. And then just sprinkle the top with a little bit of Parmesan uh, because you're going to bake it for about 25 minutes in a 350 oven and okay. then um, broil it for a couple minutes just to get a nice little crust Make on sure top. you get the top. You bake it at a, a hot, hot temperature? Or? At 350. That's, that's about right. Yeah. About so, and that's okay. it. Are we ready? Yeah. And then okay, just pop so it in the oven. oven. Out come. Doors open. Thank you. Oh, that looks just as good as when she put it in, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, and look at that. Magic of television. Yeah. And we'll just go ahead and cut a nice little wedge out of there. And then the place over there. Oh, that looks so inviting. Is it really it just... Oh, lovely. Isn't that beautiful? So what other kinds of things have you put into this recipe when you've made it? Well, you can really use any vegetables that you like. And I know, you know, some people don't really like broccoli. Um, you could use zucchini or, um, you know, different colors of bell peppers. Um, mm -hmm. You haven't you know. get a no yet. <laughs> yeah. All of good stuff. Use any combination that you like. Mm. Mm. And this is a fun dish to take as a potluck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's actually good served at room temperature mm. as well, like right. most potatoes can be. This is wonderful. Good. Mm-hmm. Like tastes like real chorizo in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, you for sharing that with us. You can taste all of the different tastes that are in this, and you can taste them without one overbearing or over, mm -hmm. overshadowing the other. Mm -hmm. That's it's like delicious. a little party. <laughs> I imagine people wonder, I wonder what kind of meat she's going to feed us tonight. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is just wonderful. If you folks are on a diet or just would like a little less meat, this is a perfect, absolutely perfect recipe to put into your home and, and bring people in that you really care about. They'll like it too. Thank oh, you so well, much. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Give us a call. You're, you're, really, you're really running out of time and you're going to miss one of the best cooking books we've ever had on this program. And that's, that's not an exaggeration. Give us a call right now. Thank you very, sure. very, thank very, you, very much.